Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design elevated reinforced concrete slabs in RAM concept. At this point in our workflow, we've already performed our calculation and reviewed our analysis results. And we're taking a look at our program reinforcement and making customizations as needed or requested. So let's go ahead and take a look at our top bars plan for this exercise. In the Layers menu bar item, select Reinforcement and then your Top Bars Plan. Now what I'm specifically going to take a look at is the reinforcement at the top of our reinforced concrete beam in the latitude direction. Now there may be times where you want to customize your reinforcement per your project requirements or how you would like to detail that information. And what I'm gonna show you how to do is how to model concentrated user reinforcement in RAM concept. So on each of the reinforcement layers, you do have a layer specific toolbar that has some tools for you to be able to model reinforcement yourself. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to that toolbar and take a look at this tool. I'm gonna double click on it to allow me to define the parameters. By default, it's always gonna come up as designed by user since I'm the one specifying this information. Next, I'm going to enter the information. I'm working on some top bars and I'm going to ask the program to detail them as hooked at each end. And I'm going to place them at the top of the slab. Next, I'm going to enter the bar type that I like, and I can specify how to detail this reinforcement, either by quantity or spacing. Since I'm within a reinforced concrete beam, I'm gonna go with quantity. How many bars do I want in the top of this beam? I'm gonna go with six bars. What's my zone width? For me, I'm gonna specify my zone width as the width of my reinforced concrete beam. For me, this exercise, that's two feet. Once I'm done entering this information, I can go ahead and click OK. Now at this point, I'm ready to model the concentrated reinforcement. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at the left-hand side of the beam, click at the center line of the column, and then I'm gonna model this over to the right-hand side of the beam. Now the program reinforcement is still being shown on my screen because that doesn't get redone until a new calculation is performed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna perform a partial calculation at this point. When you perform a calculation, either a full or partial calculation, what RAM concept does it is it essentially removes all of the program reinforcement from your slab system. It considers the user reinforcement and then if, at, if requested within the calculation criteria, it'll go ahead and add in program reinforcement as needed. So after the calculation is performed, we will be able to see the user reinforcement that we added, and then some additional top bars, it looks like for this exercise, were added over the supports. At this point, this concludes a process of modeling concentrated user reinforcement in RAM concept. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.